What's up, YouTube? Just got done watering the ladies in the bedroom. I uh, wanted to have a quick talk about uh, bugs, bug spray, stuff I use that, that works for years. Now, my go-to, the number one thing I use is the Organicide. It's from Home Depot. It's an insecticide, a fungicide, and a uh, miticide. Now, I mean, look, look at all the shit this thing kills. Aphids, white flies, fungus gnats, you know, and the biggest thing is a miticide. It kills mites, you know what I mean? So, the biggest thing I can tell you is don't wait until you have a problem to take care of it. I'm all about preventative. I, I do stuff throughout the grow to where if I ever had a bug, I mean, it, it'd be a fucking super bug, you know? So what I do is I just, this stuff right here, it's concentrate. Now it says it makes like 10 gallons, but I think it makes a shitload more how I use it. Now, I probably do about half a shot glass or so and just a little pump sprayer. I fill it up with hot water, just, you know, low. Put that half shot glass in, mix it up, and then I'll do like, you know, little little cooler and lukewarm for the rest of the way, shake it up, that way you know it's mixed. Um, I'll usually spray my finger, just the tip of my finger, and if it has a little film on it, you know you put enough of this in there. That's pretty much what it does. It coats your plant, and I assume if anything eats it or touches it, it kills it, I don't know. But I just do a little finger test. If it's got a little film on it, you know you put enough in there. And I'll actually spray my whole bedroom like once a week or if it was a you know easy day in the garden I'll do it two three times a week I'll actually you know spray the floor a little bit it'll be dry the next day I'll, I'll even spray my flower room not the buds you don't want to do that but I'll actually spray you know the dirt around the plant and the floor um, and you know just the whole floor but that's what I do now I had mites one time and you know the last couple years i brought something home from a buddy's house that had bugs you know previously i put it you know outside of my room and miraculously within about a week my flower room was full of bugs and of course you freak out you're going to lose your whole grow you know and you look online and there's barely anything you can do about it i was researching and researching and i found these uh, hot shot no pest strips. They're from uh, Home Depot also. These things are expensive I don't remember how much but they're like seven bucks a piece or something. There's only one in there There's not two because it says two. It's Maybe it's no pest strip version two, but there's only one thing in it What you do is you hang it in your room. It's got a little hook on it You hang it in your room you turn you know any anything that brings fresh air in or takes it out which will kill the, the fumes that this puts off you can have your you know your oscillating fans going because there's not sucking it out but you hang this in your room for 24 hours everything's dead your plants are fine all the bugs are dead i went into my flower room i saw uh little little cobwebs coming at like you know the shoots where they come out of the stock right here uh the cobwebs were kind of hard to do with the foam but they were uh, I don't know, but if you if you got the V, right at the end of the V, the cobwebs were they're trying to grow out into the branch. Um, I went out there the next day, and you could see plenty of movement. When you flip the leaf over, you see them crawling around. <clears throat> uh, next day, no movement. Now, there's still a couple bugs there, so it was what it was, but it, it didn't consume the whole grow and cobwebs all over, covering the buds and all that. It killed it overnight right here. So I just keep this on hand in case it ever happens again I'm pretty sure it won't because I don't bring anything home from my buddy's house or if you do like if you borrow a fan or something scrub the shit out of it you know scrub it two three times I'll even you know if I get something from somebody like let's say I get an inline fan I'll scrub it out take it apart as much as I can clean everything out I'll give it a couple sprays with this and I'll actually put it inside a tote with the lid on with one of these in it and I'll just leave it you know, until I need it. A week, two weeks, couple days, whatever. It's in there with this. If there's anything in the fan, it's dead. So, preventative, preventative, preventative. So, I just want to make that quick video for you guys. Hopefully, I help somebody. But this is my go-to. 
I use this consistently. And I've had bugs once because, you know, I brought something home from somebody that had bugs um, in several years, once. But, you know, I also use the bug the bug granules I put in my little seed spreader. You turn it, and I do it around the house. I do it around the garage. You keep all the weeds away from your house on the outside, all the bushes, you know, and just preventative. Keep your lawn mowed. You don't have a bunch of bugs in it, you know. And I put that the bug granules around the house and the garage. So, and I use this religiously. That I'm telling you right now, that should just that should be one of the first things you use in your grow. Don't matter if you grow the best shit in the world if it's full of bugs. So, and I've never had any complaints. I don't use this in flower. I only use it in veg. But I'll spray the flower floor, the top of the dirt, you know. But there's a little tip for you: keeping bugs out of your garden. And uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, Remember to like and subscribe. I really don't care about the likes. Subscribe to my shit. Uh, I appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a good one. I'll make another video soon. All right.